everybody has stepped up. Everybody has raised their hands to serve. And I can tell you, it is so deeply appreciated. It's so deeply felt. And for everyone who is offering prayers and supports, I can tell you those prayers are working and we are grateful. And the thing that I would ask for people to remember is this. The first, this is very much still a search and rescue mission. We are still actively looking for survivors. We know, and that's the pledge we've made to these families, and this is still very much an active search and rescue mission. And there is not a single resource that we will hold off on deploying. I have already authorized the deployment of everything from air, land, and sea resources to make sure that this search and rescue operation is carried out to its fullest intent. The second thing I want to remind people is that this will not be short. There's going to be a long road. There's going to be a long road, not just as we go from search and rescue, There'll be a long road as we talk about what does the future of this region, the future of the area look like. And we're gonna need each and every one of you. We're thankful for each and every one of you, both Marylanders and non-Marylanders who have reached out and offered support. We feel it, we need it, and we are truly grateful for it. And I think just in this time, this state has been able to show what it means to be Maryland tough and Baltimore strong. And this state and this city will continue to show exactly that. I, I just really want to underscore a couple points. Our first priority is the search and rescue for those that were uh, on the bridge. We then need to make sure that the, the, that the channel is reopened. It's critically important to our economy. Uh, it affects many, many jobs. It affects not only jobs here in Maryland, but around the country and world. So our, our next priority is to make sure we get that channel opened. And then we also need to fix and replace the bridge for the surface transportation. A special thanks to President Biden, who's made it very, very clear that he'll do everything in his power to make sure that we get the help we need to deal with this challenge. This is no ordinary bridge. This is one of the cathedrals of American infrastructure. It has been part of the skyline of this region for longer than many of us have been alive. So the path to normalcy will not be easy. It will not be quick. It will not be inexpensive. But we will rebuild together. The president's plan is to work with everyone here uh, in order to rebuild this bridge and reopen this port including our readiness as a department to approve emergency funding as soon as we receive that request. Meanwhile, our Maritime Administration will help with port, harbor, and supply chain operations. Uh, our Federal Highway Administration will assist when it comes to the bridge itself and any ways that we can help ease roadway congestion for residents and commuters who can no longer uh, use this major thoroughfare.